Thank you for watching back to the news. This video, we will check this image section in the setting. So there are two options here, or images options here. The first one is for changing the logo. And this logo is normally uh, for when the image is sent to the customers then this logo also displays there in email. So if you want to change that, you can select here, then we add it. And you can change the image as well. If you want to upload from your computer, local computer, then you can also upload from here. I don't have any small picture, so that's why. By the way, you can change to this one. And also, you can see here this small icon that is called fab icon. So if you want to change this one also, this fab icon, this one, the small icon you're seeing here, then you can also change from here, settings, icon. Then change it to this one. Let's save it. When you have press it, then this icon is changed here. You can see. So it is easier to change this fab icon as well as your logo from here. And here is this mail system. So this mail is default one. If you want to use SMTP, that in that case you can use like the mail dot email dot com. Or if your website or the store name is say uh, chick store.com so in that case it will be sorry this mail power matrix is actually the default email email address is, uh, of admin so whenever the order is placed or some other types of these types of activities performed in that case the email will be sent to this email address so say admin at the rate chickstore.com so you can provide email address like this and then this is SMTP host line say mail.store.com and then SMTP username. So it'll be like inquiry or customer at the right chip store dot com. And here the password. Remember this email address is created through C panel. There is an option in in C panel from where you can create your email ID. So that time this email is provided. And then there is also the password say 12345. So whatever password is of this email address, you can provide that email here. And apart from that, this SMTP port and SMTP timeout is also provided in the host. When you create the email, these two information is also available there. And then there is a follow up option. When, so in which condition you want to send or receive the email? For example, register. If anyone registers, then you should receive an email. In that case, you can click here. Affiliate will also receive the email. Reviews, when the review is posted into any products, in that case, 
also reviews it. So in that case, also you will receive a mark. So you can select here in which case you want to receive a mark and in which case you don't. So you have the option here. And this one is for suppose you have different departments, for example, admin by default with receiving email from here. And then apart from admin, there is other like sales department and also uh, a logistic department. So those departments also should receive email. In that case, you can provide here other emails also. So that's it. In the next video, I will show you this server site.